Okay, so let's see. We should be live. All right. And I have some music playing in the background, which is nice for studying. Let me send a message to the people in the comments. Hello, welcome to this live English lesson. All right, so we're going to do the W's number four. That's right. Okay, so let's jump in and see what we're going to do in this live English lesson. All right, so what are we studying today? Well, I'm glad you asked. In this live English lesson, we're going to describe a picture. We're going to do the W's and answer the W's. All right, so when we're talking about the W's, we're talking about the question words, right? We're talking about who, what, where, when, how, and why. Ah, in the comments, Mohammed Farak says, hi from Syria. Hello, hello. And Mohammed, can you hear the music in the background? And if you can, can you tell me, is it too loud? Or if, is it okay? Is the volume okay? I would appreciate it, because I can't hear from your point of view. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the W's today. We're going to go through, and we're going to create questions. And I'm going to ask you guys to help me create the questions as we go. All right. Ah, and Saddam Deng says, hi, from Kashmir, India. And Muhammad says, it's okay. Okay, so the music is all right. All right, so we're also going to go back through and answer the W's. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is summarize this picture. All right, you might have seen it before. I posted it on Instagram, but I did it with a question. And we're going to be use this picture a little bit more. All right, here we go. Let's do it. So this is what I see. G Garden says, I'm late. It's okay. We just got started. We're just reviewing the picture and summarizing the picture. Here we go. So I would say, judging by the shadows, it's probably in the evening. All right. We can see a young woman sitting on a wooden... Ooh, I fixed that. Sitting on a wooden box in the middle of a dirt road all right so the road is not paved it doesn't have a asphalt surface no tar so it's just a dirt road uh, she is sitting with her left leg crossed over her right at the knees she is wearing a purple and white sweater, blue jeans, and black shoes. Her jeans are rolled up to her calves. All right, so calves are the back part of your leg, the main muscle part, right? So if, if people that can jump really high, they usually have really strong calves. All right. All right, Hanin Almosawi says hello. Hello, hello, welcome. Okay, let's see. Uh, she is holding an open tourist map in her hands and looking at it intently. Hmm. If we look at something intently, that means it has all our focus. We're looking at it, right? We're not distracted by other things. We're looking at it to make sure we, I don't know, can read it or understand it. It has our attention. All right. Uh, Saddam Deng says, Hi, please take my name. I don't know what that means. All right. As we can't go live here, but you can type in the comments, right? Okay. All right. Let's see. Beside her. Beside her are a white suitcase and a globe right a globe of the world the suitcase is lying flat on the ground the globe is sitting on top of the suitcase and is rotated so we can see africa All right, so 
Okay, Oop. so we summarize the picture. I'm going to read it through one more time and then we will uh, Let's see Okay, so I'm going to read through it Here we go Judging by the shadows, it's probably in the evening We can see a young woman sitting on a wooden box in the middle of a dirt road She is sitting with her left leg crossed over her right at the knees she is wearing a purple and white sweater, blue jeans, and black shoes. Her jeans are rolled up to her calves. She is holding an open tourist map in her hands and looking at it intently. Beside her are a white suitcase and a globe. The suitcase is lying flat on the ground. The, oh, the glob, huh? The globe. The globe is sitting on top of the suitcase and is rotated so we can see Africa. Okay, all right, here we go. So let's do pronunciation. You guys repeat after me, and um, if you're doing pronunciation, give me some apples in the comments, okay? Here we go. Repeat after me. Judging by the shadows, it's probably in the evening. We can see a young woman sitting on a wooden box in the middle of a dirt road. She is sitting with her left leg crossed over her right at the knees. She is wearing a purple and white sweater blue jeans, and black shoes. Her jeans are rolled up to her calves. She is holding an open tourist map in her hands and looking at it intently. Beside her are a white suitcase and a globe. The suitcase is lying flat on the ground. The globe is sitting on top of the suitcase and is rotated so we can see Africa. Okay, all right, so this was pronunciation. If you did pronunciation, put some apples in the comments. That would be great. Now we're going to use this picture to do the W's. So once again, doing the W's means the who, what, where, when, how, and why. And I'm going to ask you guys to help me, okay? So the first question word we're going to use is who. All right, so let's see. I'll start it off by saying who... Uh, <laughs> who brought this girl to, uh, let's see, who brought the girl to this location? All right. So if you guys have who questions, I would love to hear them. Uh-huh. Mohammed Farak says, who is she? Sure. And maybe we can make it a little bit longer. We could say, who is she? And where did she get the map? Right? So we have two questions in one. We're using who and where, but we're starting with who, so it's a who question. All right. Any other who questions? I will keep going and look in the comments. Let's see. Ah, Mohammed says, who is she waiting for? Right, right. Okay, let's see. Maybe we could say, uh, who does the globe belong to so we're not sure if it's hers or it's someone else let's see garden says who will come to pick her up that's right okay wonderful who knows all right so who will come to pick her up let's see uh who uh is hiding in the suitcase <laughs> maybe there's a small person 
and they can hide in the suitcase. All right. Let's see. We we'll do another one. Who? <laughs> Mohammed Farak says, "Who on earth convinced her to travel alone?" Mm hmm. Good question. All right. All right. So we have a bunch of who questions. Let's move to what? All right. Let's do some what questions. All right. So I'm waiting for your comments. Let's see. Uh, what? So we could say what time is it? And how long has she been here? All right. So it's still a what question because it starts with what, but it also has another question inside it. It's more of a complex question because it's two questions in one sentence. All right, let's see. Can you guys help me? Do we have some what questions? Uh, how about what is she looking at on the map? So it looks like she's holding like a tourist map in her hands. The kind of map that would fold together and she's looking at it. She's intently. She's looking at it intently, which means with good focus, strong focus. All right, Mohammed Farak says, what is she doing? Right. All right, I'll move that one down. Maybe we can fit one more what? Um, what is the reason that she decided <laughs> to sit uh, exactly in the middle of the road? Hmm. All right, let's see. Can we get some more what questions? What is she thinking? about hmm? all right let's see what uh ah muhammad farak says what brand are her jeans right Layla almeida says hello 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 we could say maybe what is in her pocket in her back pocket all right Let's see, maybe we'll do one more what. What is the reason that she travels with a globe? Hmm, a little bit strange. All right, so let's do some where questions. All right. Uh, how about where is this location and how did she get here? Hmm. All right. Where? Uh huh. Ah, Ibrahim says, What is her name? Mohammed Farak says, What is her nationality? Yes, yes, great. What questions? See, now we're on where? How about where does she keep her money when she travels? Right? Uh huh. Mohammed says, Where is she from? That's right. Okay, where, oh, let me take a drink quick, get a drink. All right, so let's see, where is she from? Let's do another where. Um, where is her ride? <laughs> okay, let's see, we can probably do some more where questions. Uh, where is her loving but untrustworthy boyfriend. <laughs> uh huh. Let's see. I'm think. I think untrustworthy is a word. Hmm. Let's quick check. I'll do a quick check in the dictionary to see if untrustworthy is a word. Sure. Okay. Good. Not reliable to be relied. Okay. Good. Sometimes when you add un or a prefix to a word, it's not necessarily a word. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. I think we have another one in the comments. Uh, Muhammad Farak or I Ibrahim Sultan says, where is she going? Yes. All right. Muhammad says, where are the other guys? <laughs> they left, <laughs> I guess. The one more. Where, uh, hmm. Will she be in five days? Ah, okay. All right, let's do some when questions. 
I think there might be a, a short delay in the video, so I'm going to wait for just a moment so you guys can catch up and help me do when questions. All right. Uh, maybe we could say, when did she start reading the map? Or looking at the map? Sure. When, da, 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 what do you think? When questions. Let's see, when uh, did she put the globe on top of the suitcase? Hmm. All right, let's see, when... Ah, Ibrahim says, when will she arrive home? Right, sure. When will we understand the situation? Uh-huh. All right, let's do some more when. All right, Muhammad says, when is she going to continue her journey? Right. All right, she has all her stuff. When is she going to keep going? When will she uh, see the truck <laughs> coming up behind her? And in the picture, we can't see a truck, but we can use our imagination if she sits there long enough without looking around. All right, let's see. When? Hmm, what should we do for when? When? Uh... When will the wooden box break and uh, when will the wooden box break? Let's see. Leila Almeida says, when is kind behavior started? Hmm, like when did she maybe start doing this? Sure. Mohammed Farak says, when is she going to call 911? Hmm, is she going to call 911? Right. And 911 is the emergency number in the United States. I think other countries have maybe like, uh, I think I've been in a country with 999 or 333, and that's the emergency number for police or ambulance or something like that. Okay, so let's do how. Right? Let's do some how questions. I think probably the most obvious one is how did she get here? Uh huh. Now maybe we could say how long has she been waiting and reading this boring map? <laughs> she doesn't have anything to do and so she just reads the map? Ooh, I wonder if she forgot her phone. Ah, we'll do that. How does she feel about uh, forgetting her phone at home? Hmm, very important. Okay, let's see. If you guys have any how questions? I'm looking in the comments. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see how. Yes, Mohammed says, how is she going to survive? Especially without a phone. <laughs> Uh -huh. All right, let's do some more how questions. Hmm. See, Ibrahim Sultan, how is she waiting under the sun? Let's see. Um, let's see. Maybe how about this? How is it that she came to be waiting under the sun? So the question is more asking, you know, how did this situation occur? How did what led up to this situation? All right, so Mohammed Farak says, how does she feel? Uh-huh. And I'm going to change it a little bit. How does she feel about having to use a reg or a paper map instead of her uh, Google Maps? <laughs> uh-huh. Let's see, Leila Almeida says, how does she choose to stay in the street? Uh-huh. How did she... Uh, how did she, let's see, how did she come to, let's see, how did she choose to sit in the middle of the dirt road, right? And 
we could say this is an unpaved road it's a dirt road it's not i i wouldn't quite call it a street because it's not like a city street with a hard surface it's a dirt road uh-huh all right let's see i'll do one more how how uh how will she feel when she uh sees the the truck coming down the road Oop. all right all right so let's do why all right so why is a great ah lila Almeida says instead on the sidewalk well there's no sidewalk here because the sidewalk looks something like let me show you Okay, so a sidewalk would be something like this, right? This is a sidewalk. And if I put dirt road, then we have a dirt road, <laughs> right? We could also maybe say unpaved road. Uh-huh, similar, unpaved. Unpaved means there's no hard surface, no tar or asphalt or the materials they use on top. All right, let's see. We have a question. Mohammed Brock says, how is she going to react when she sees this video? <laughs> uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, it's going to be a while because she forgot her phone at home. Hmm. Let's see. We can do some why questions now. Why is she sitting... <laughs> Way out here in the country on a wooden box. All right, Leila Almeida said teacher, but she is on the street. And I would say a road, but I wouldn't call it a street. Because when I say a street, well, we can take a look at Google search. If you put in the word street, it's going to have a hard surface, right? Whether it's cement, whether it's stone, whether it's asphalt, the st street has the idea that there's a hard surface. So I, I wouldn't call it a, a, st a street. I would probably call it a road or a, uh, an, a dirt road. That's what I would say. All right. Okay. All right, let's see. <laughs> Let's see, Mohammed Farak says, why is she alone? Right, I'm going to combine that question with Garden, who says, why is she so calm? Right, so maybe we'll combine those two questions into one. Why is she alone and so calm? Hmm, Let's see, all right. Why is she looking at the wrong section of the map? Now, we can't really see what she's looking at, but we can, you know, make a question and pretend that she's looking at the wrong section. All right, let's see some more why questions. Why did she bring a globe with her? Mm hmm. All right. Oh, another slide for why questions. Help me out. Here we go. Why... Uh, isn't she wearing a hat on such a sunny day? Right. All right. See, Muhammad says, why did she get lost? Right. All right. Let's see a couple more why questions and then we'll go back and we're going to answer all of the questions. Okay. So let's see. Why did she... Uh, forget to turn off or to unplug the 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 toaster <laughs> this morning. Hmm. Mohammed says, "Why did she get off? <laughs> Why did she get off the bus?" Mm hmm. Good question, and she's probably regretting it. All right, so we're going to go back through. We did why, we did how, we did when, we did where, we did what, and we did who. So let's go back, and we're going to answer the questions. All right. 
So, question number one. Who brought the girl to this location? Hmm, well, let's see. Many possibilities. Uh, maybe like Mohammed says, a bus brought her to this location and she mistakenly got off. Oop, mistakenly got off. So mistakenly, if you mistakenly do something, it was an error. It was a mistake. You, it was incorrect. All right. Who is she and where did she get the map? All right. So two part question we got to make sure to answer. So she is uh, Laura. How about she is Laura and she got the map from the bus driver. Sure. We could say she got the, the map from a convenience store or from her father or from home. Who knows? Who is she waiting for? Hmm. She is waiting for her knight in shining armor. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I'm going to look up the knight in shining armor in Google image search. And we'll talk about this concept. All right. Knight in shining armor is the idea of usually in like a fairy tale where a woman needs to be saved and she's like, oh, I need my knight in shining armor to come save me. And then, you know, they fall in love and they live happily ever after. So probably not true in this case, but either way, it's a, an interesting expression to know. It's, it's, it's a, a man who comes to save the woman, a knight in shining armor. All right. All right, let's take a look. Who does the globe belong to? Hmm, let's see. The globe belongs to her grandma. And she is returning it to return in it to her. Uh, she borrowed it from her grandma last summer. Kind of an inconvenient thing to bring along with you because it's so big and bulky. All right, so who will come to pick her up? We have no idea <laughs> who will come to pick her up. She is stranded all uh, out here all by herself. All right, so if someone is stranded, it means they are way out in a location where there aren't a lot of people, there's not a lot of transportation, and you're stuck, right? There Maybe there's no one that can come get you, and you're stranded, you're stuck. Who is hiding in the suitcase? Hmm, well, let's see, it's a small suitcase. So we'll say, <laughs> her little brother, uh, Tom, is hiding in the suitcase. Let's see. Little brother Tom is hiding in the suitcase. He wanted to surprise her. Uh, but now he's the one <laughs> who is surprised. Hmm. So he he hid it in the suitcase. And right. And he's like, oh, you know, I'll open it up once we get there. But little did he know that they would be stuck on a road. All right. Who on earth convinced her to travel alone? Uh, we'll say she convinced <laughs> herself that she was able and courageous enough to travel alone. All right. All right, let's see. What time is it and how long has she been here? Well, the shadows are long, so I think it's probably in the evening sometime or late, late afternoon. So I'm going to guess uh, it's about 5 p.m. And she's been here for two hours, right? She still looks pretty calm. I guess calm enough after two hours. Uh, <laughs> Garden says, oh, she is not alone. Well... <laughs> Maybe her little brother is hiding in the suitcase. He's probably getting pretty hot and having difficulty breathing. Let's see. What is she looking at on the map? Uh, 
she just realized that she brought a map of a a map uh, for a different state <laughs> uh-huh so she brought the wrong map and now she's like oh no it's supposed to be ohio but i'm looking at california hmm what is she doing she is looking at a map of california but she is currently in ohio it's a problem right what is the reason that she decided to sit exactly in the middle of the road all right so she's not sitting over to one side she's not sitting close to the edge she's not sitting in the ditch or on the shoulder you can like kind of like your shoulder here um, on a road like this you can call the edge the shoulder and if you're driving you might say I'm going to pull over to the shoulder all right she wants to let's see uh, she wants to attract attention from anyone who is driving on driving on the road right so if she sits in the middle then you know someone who's coming from a long distance will probably see her of course she's also taking a risk that someone who's coming will will you know be texting on their phone or something and not see her because it's probably very very uncommon for someone to be sitting in the middle of the road with a globe and a white suitcase hmm okay so let's move forward let's see Layla Almeida says it seems to me that she has been there for more than four hours it's possible all right let's see we're on the what now well, what is she thinking about Ooh, let me see ah we're another what one continuing with the what questions there we go what is she thinking about she is thinking about how delicious <laughs> her grandma's uh pumpkin pie is <laughs> she really wants to have a bite hmm oh, a bite all right let's take a look what is pumpkin pie all right let's see if you guys have ever eaten pumpkin pie it's very common in the u.s let's take a look pumpkin pie da -da -da. i think it's delicious Ooh, there we go pumpkin pie maybe with whipped cream or ice cream on top it's absolutely delicious. It's very common for Americans to eat a lot of pumpkin pie during Thanksgiving, which is a common holiday. Uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving food, sure. Okay. There you go. There. This one is either a pecan or a pecan pumpkin pie. I'm not sure. I'm getting hungry. I need to go back. Okay, I got to stay focused here. All right. Okay, what brand are her jeans? Hmm, let's see. Her jeans are L Levi's. All right, let's see if I can. They have pictures of Levi jeans. I'm not really into a lot of clothing brands. But that's the one I do remember. Let's see, Levi's. I think that's how you do it. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. She's wearing Levi's jeans. It's a very common brand in the U.S. Uh huh. Probably around the world. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. Okay. All right. Her jeans are Levi's. What is in her back pocket? Uh. Well, she thought her phone was in her back pocket, but realized it was missing and is probably still at home connected to the wall charger Woo! that's a long sentence what is in her back pocket she thought her phone was in her back pocket but realized it was missing and is probably still at home connected to the wall charger so the real answer is there is nothing in her back pocket all right 
Uh, what is the reason that she travels with a globe? Hmm. <laughs> well, she's traveling. I think we said before she's traveling. Uh. With a globe this time because uh, she is returning it to her grandma. All right, so she borrowed it from her grandma. Her grandma lent it to her. Now she's bringing it back. Okay, where? Where is this location and how did she get here? Let's see. This location is in rural Ohio. And she got here by bus she uh what do we call disboarded dismounted well she got off the bus by mistake hmm all right so when we're talking about rural we have rural versus urban right let me put it here rural versus urban all right so let's take a look at a couple pictures of rural versus urban because it's a very easy way to explain the meaning of the word so if we put rural, you see, you know, farms and trees and not a lot of people. It could be a town if it's a real small town, but it's a lot of open area. And if we put in urban, it's the opposite. A lot of buildings, a lot of people living or working in a very uh, close proximity to each other, like in a city. All right, let's go back. See, where does she keep her money when she travels? Uh-huh. She keeps her money in a uh, money belt hidden under her, uh, under her shirt. All right, let's see. She keeps her money in a money belt hidden under her shirt at her waist. All right? So let's take a look. Uh, a money belt. So we have a good idea what we're talking about. Money belt. Aha, uh -huh, right. Something like this. It just keeps your money and maybe your passport, important documents, real close and easy so it's difficult for someone to steal. And you tuck it down under your shirt or in between your pants or under, underneath your pants and then, you know, your stuff is safe. That's a, a money belt. All right, let's go back. Where is she from? Let's see. Hmm. Because she's so lost, she must be from somewhere far away. Uh, but her grandmother lives here somewhere. So let's say she is from Florida. And this is her first time traveling to this area. All right. So that would explain her why she's unfamiliar. She's not confident traveling through here and she made a mistake. All right, where is her ride? Well, her ride was a bus, but she got off. Hmm. So we don't know uh, what her next ride will be. All right? Okay, so let's do where. Where's her loving but untrustworthy boyfriend? Ah, I can only think of one. Let's see, her boyfriend is still <laughs> on the bus. <laughs> he was uh, fast asleep when she got off. They had just had a big argument and she left him. Hmm, bad choice. Now he's on the bus and he's somewhere safe. So her boyfriend is still on the bus. He was fast asleep when she got off. They had just had a big argument when she left him. All right. Where is she going? She's going to her grandma's house to eat uh her to eat her grandma's famous pumpkin pie. Okay, where are the other guys? Well, <laughs> everyone else is still on the bus. They're probably uh, already in a hotel by now in the next city. Right? 
Where will she be in five days? Ooh. Well, we have lots of options here. Will someone help her? Will she find a way? Maybe she'll walk to like a farmhouse and, you know, say, Hey, I'm a little bit lost. Do you like my globe? <laughs> well, let's see. Maybe we'll choose something nice. Where will she be in five days? In five days, she will be in mm, Paris. <laughs> Paris, France. Uh-huh. Uh, because she has a uh, business there. All right. So she has, she's traveling around quick. All right. When, when did she start reading the map? Uh, she started reading the map when she realized, let's see, here we go. She started reading the map after she realized she had forgotten her phone. Hmm. She's like, oh no, I was going to use Google Maps on my phone, but I have no phone. But look, there's a map. All right. When did she put the globe on top of the suitcase? She put the globe on top of the suitcase um, before she sat down on the wood wooden box. When will she arrive home? We don't know when <laughs> she will arrive home. Maybe sometime next uh, week. Right? When will we understand the situation? Hmm. Uh, she will call us later and explain the situation and what happened to her All right oh my god i got off the bus in the wrong place and i had to sit in the middle of the road for like seven hours and i can't believe oh. and finally this farmer came and he picked me up and he brought me to the next city and i was like oh <laughs> okay all right how or when 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 is she going to continue her journey uh her journey will continue when the when a farmer finds her sleeping on the road or in the middle of the road. All right. When will she see the truck coming up behind her? And like I said before, we can't actually see a truck, but we'll pretend the situation is that there's a truck coming up. And she's so focused on the map that maybe she doesn't hear the truck or the truck's going slowly or something like that. She will see the truck. Let's see. Um, when uh, she turns around after the truck after the driver honks his horn right so he's probably driving he's like there's something in the road here it's a woman why doesn't she see me or hear me and so he'll get close and he'll hit he'll honk his horn and she'll be like ha ah, who ha ah, you saved me thank you all right when will the wooden box break <laughs> The box will break when she is startled by the farmer's horn, right? So the farmer drives up and she still doesn't see him and he honks the horn and he's behind her so she doesn't see him and he honks. She's like, ah, and she starts to move and shake and the box goes crack and she falls down on the ground. So she will feel embarrassed but happy to see another person. Mm -hmm. When is she going to call 911? Uh, because, well, let's see, she forgot her phone, so she can't call 911. Mm -hmm. And just for everyone who wasn't present before, 911 is the emergency number in the United States, right? Different countries, South America somewhere I thought they had 999 or 333 and it's just a way to contact the uh, emergency people 
Right, how? How did she get here? Well, we answered this before, I think. She uh, was traveling by bus and mistakenly got off here. Why? I don't know. Remember we talked about she was, maybe she had an argument with her boyfriend on the bus. She's like, I'm getting off this bus. And she did and... It was an emotional decision, but not a logical decision to get off the bus. Let's see, how long has she been waiting and reading this boring map? All right, she has been sitting here for, let's see, five hours. Uh, but she has only been reading the map for the last 15 minutes. All right, so there was two parts in the question. How long has she been waiting and how long has she been reading? So she has been sitting here for five hours, but she has only been reading the map for the last 15 minutes. Okay, how does she feel about forgetting her phone at home? She feels, let's see, let's find a word which would be like, ah, she feels horrified, upset, and desperate. Desperate. Uh huh. Horrified. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot my phone, especially that I'm stuck way out here. Mm hmm. Oh, she feels horrified, upset, and desperate. We can make it a complete sentence that answers. Well, it is, it's already complete, but we can make it longer. About uh, forgetting her phone at home. Right? How is she going to survive? Well, uh. She will drink some water <laughs> from her suitcase and wait for the farmer. For the farmer to save her. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's move that up. Alright, let's go on. How is it that she came to be waiting under the sun? Well, She's here because she got off the bus. What a huge mistake. Hmm? How does she feel about having to use a paper map instead of her Google Maps? She is so disappointed in old technology. Right? She's so disappointed in old technology. Right? How did she choose to sit in the middle of the road? Well, see how? Well, she thought it over. She pondered. She was wondering about it, thinking about it for a while, but decided it was the best place for people to see her. All right, so it's the most visible place. It's the place where people, you know, won't expect something in the middle of the road, so their eyes will automatically be like, hey, what's that? And then people can notice her. How will she feel when she sees a truck coming down the road? She will jump for joy and cry a little <laughs> with surprise and joy. All right. Okay. Why? Why is she sitting way out here in the country on a wooden box? Well, she got off the bus at the wrong place and found this box lying at the side of the road, right? And she decided to sit on it. Why is she alone and so calm? Because she knows there is, whoop, let me fix that. Because she knows there is a town only 20 miles away. So kind of far to walk, but close enough that you know, you know, there are people out there. Why is she looking at the wrong section of the map? Because she didn't read <laughs> the part uh, on top which says... California or it says map of California all right 
Why did she bring a globe with her? Well, she mentioned we talked about that before. She has the globe because she is returning it to her grandmother. All right, Layla Almeida says, I think that she's so worried that she didn't realize where she is sitting. It's possible, right? Very possible. Like, ha, who, ha, how do I get out of here? Ha, right. Right? Why? Why isn't she wearing a hat on such a sunny day? Well, uh, she forgot her hat on the bus. It's sitting next to her sleeping boyfriend. Alright, so we talked about before her and her boyfriend had an argument and she got off the bus. She was upset and angry and she didn't think about what she was doing and she forgot her hat too. Why did she get lost? There we go. Uh, she was upset. We'll say extremely, extremely upset with her boyfriend and got off the bus. Mm hmm. Why did she forget to unplug the toaster this morning? This is a random question. <laughs> she forgot to unplug the toaster this morning because she was in a hurry to uh, get to the bus station. All right. Why did she get off the bus? All right. So we answered the question, but we'll do it again. She got off the bus because she was so upset that her boyfriend wouldn't share his uh, Subway sandwich <laughs> with her. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's make sure everyone knows what a Subway sandwich is. Because I don't know if they have Subway. They don't have Subways in every country, I don't think. Here we go. Subway sandwich. It's great food for traveling. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love Subway sandwiches. All right. So, uh, we'll say to go and we'll see if when you get it to go, they wrap it up and they put it in a bag and they wrap it so you can, you know, put it all there. Delicious. Oh boy. I'm hungry. Okay. Stay focused. Here we go. All right, so she got off the bus because she was so upset that her boyfriend wouldn't share his Subway sandwich with her. What kind of relationship is this? All right. Okay, so we just answered the W's. First, we did the W's, all the who, what, where, when, how, and why, and all these lovely questions. And we went back through and answered them. All right, and we use this picture, all right, to give us inspiration for answering the questions. All right, so let's take a look. What did we accomplish in this lesson? Well, in this live English lesson, we described a picture. Check. Did we do the W's? Check. Yes, we did. Did we answer the W's? Check. Yes, we did. All right, so we did everything. We accomplished everything. Yahoo! All right, so thank you for joining this live English lesson where we did the W's number four. All right, I'm going to remind you of our motto, improve your English, become more valuable, right? Improve your skills and suddenly you have more to offer yourself and people in your life. All right, so if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. Here we go with the animation. Whoop. Doot, 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 doot. And if you have already subscribed, click the little bell icon and it will send you a notification when we have new stuff. Okay? All right. Improve your English. Become more valuable. In the comments, Garden says, Yahoo! <laughs> All right. I'm going to turn the music up a little bit louder and then I'm going to be out of here. I'm going to type a thank you in the comments.